Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Photo Fire Slideshow Maker. Photo Fire Slideshow Maker enables you to make a slideshow with photos and videos in three simple steps. Add your photos or videos, select from the pre made templates, and export it. Personalize your slideshow with more than hundreds of templates. Add your own music, or even add any effect to your images. Export your slideshow in several video format. Share it directly to social network, in just one click. So, visit the link in the description. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Quick Logo Impact. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. So, the first step is to import these files into your project, you can download them from the link in the description. Grab this background layer, and place it onto the timeline. You can use your own background as well. Now grab this logo image, and place it above the background layer. Press S, to open scale, and adjust the size of it. I'm keeping this size. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it logo comp, and make sure to select, move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Now open this logo comp, select the logo layer, and pre-compose it once again. This time call it the logo texture. And hit OK. Now grab this logo texture layer, and place it below this logo texture comp. Let's remove this shape from our logo, by using the track mat option. If you don't see track mat option here, then press F4, to switch between. If your F4 key, is fighting over religion. Then right click here, go to columns, and select modes, as well as switches, because we are going to use them. Now change the track mat to alpha mat. Let's scale down this logo texture layer, so that, it will fit our logo properly. Cool, now turn on the visibility of this top layer, and then, change its blending mode to multiply. Cool, it should have this nice looking texture. Now go to the effects and presets. And here search for the gradient wipe. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the gradient layer to logo texture.jpg. Now increase the transition completion value to about 36%. Cool. Now create a new adjustment layer, and we will call it displacement. We are going to use this adjustment layer, to add some impurity to our shape. Again, go to the effects and presets, and this time, search for the turbulent displace. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the amount value to 40. And change the size value to 3. Cool, this is the look, I wanted for my logo. Let's add some depth to it. Right click on your texture comp layer, go to the layer styles, and choose bevel and emboss. Now open up this bevel and emboss option, and change the size value to 3. Also, decrease the highlight opacity to 50%. Cool, switch back to the main composition, and let's animate it. Go to the 1 second position, but before, click on this cube icon, to make it a 3D layer. Now press P, to open position, and add a keyframe on it. Now go to around this position, and change the last position value to a higher negative number, so that our logo should cross away from the frame size. Cool, this is how it should look like. 
Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, if your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Please note this step is important, so make sure to do the same, as I am showing here. Now select the keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timer line, and now the animation should look like this. Cool, let's turn on the motion blur, by clicking here, and activate it, from this icon. Let's add some shadow to it. Select this logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. Select this bottom layer, and we will call it logo shadow. Go to the effects and the presets, here search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's search for another effect. It is called CC Radial Fast Blur. Apply it onto the layer as well. And then change the fill color to black. Also, change the amount value to 79. Then grab this center point, and place it somewhere on the top. Cool. Now we have this nice looking shadow. Let's get back to the project window, and apply some smoke explosion to it. Grab this smoke explosion layer, and place it above the background layer. Now change the blending mode to lighten. Press T, to open opacity, and change the opacity value to 80%. Cool. Now place this explosion starting position, to match up the logo drop timing. It should start after the logo gets hit, onto the background layer. Cool. Let's place this dust particle footage on top of all layers. This footage is a little brighter, let's fix it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the levels. Apply it to the layer, and then, slide this slider to the right. And it will make the grey part darker. Cool. Now change its mode to screen. And it will add to the screen. You can use the opacity keyframes, to add fade in effect after the smoke explosion. Let's make all these layers, 3D as well. And then press U double time, to minimize all the layers. Now create a new camera. And 35mm will be fine. Go to the first frame, and then open position. Add a keyframe on it. Go to around 5 seconds position, and change the last position value to a negative number, to create a zoom out effect. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Cool. Now select all layers, and pre-compose them once again. Let's call it quick logo intro. And then hit OK. It's time to add some camera shake to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the wiggle position. Apply it to the layer. Because it is randomly moving the entire frame, so by default, it will show up some black space around the edges, so let's try to fix it quickly. Open scale, and change the scale value to 104%. Cool. You can use the black letterbox to hide the remaining part as well. Let's add the shake now. Go to the position where the logo is about going to hit the ground. You can use the control plus arrow key to move one frame at a time. Now add a keyframe onto the wiggle speed. Let's change the wiggle speed to zero. Then go to the frame position where logo hit the background and here change the speed to one. Move forward to the next few frames, and change the wiggle speed back to zero. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Ramp preview this, and see if it looks fine. In my case, the shake amount is too high, let's go to the middle keyframe position, and change the wiggle amount to 30. Let's turn on the motion blur for this layer as well. Ram preview it once again. And our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.
If you want to download pre-made After Effects templates, sound effects, stock footage, and other digital assets, make sure to check out the Envato Elements, check the link in the description.